Hello everyone and welcome to our Bible study and um, today our topic is from the book of Matthew Matthew 16 26 if you have Bible with you you can open your Bible in the book of Matthew 16 26 What good it is for a man to gain the whole world, but lose his soul. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity once again to declare who you are, your goodness to us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the the time that you restore our strength our our day because you are our almighty god that provides and repress everything for us we thank you lord for for this day we ask lord your continuous work in our lives to know you as we study your word today we ask your presence we ask your uh, leading lord god you may speak to us according to your will lord god thank you lord and we continue to worship you in your name O oh lord jesus we pray amen amen so what does it mean to gain the whole world but lose your soul? In Matthew 16, Jesus asked, what, God, what good it is for a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? To gain the whole world is to receive all the world has to offer. There are a lot of things that the world offer to us such as many fame pleasure power prestige and a lot more etc to lose one soul is to die without a right relationship with Christ and spend an eternity in the lake of fire. The context of his rhetorical question, the Lord was predicting his suffering in death and resurrection in Matthew 16, 21. When Peter registered his teaching, Jesus rebuked him and said, you do not have mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Jesus then spoke to the crowd and reminded them that there was nothing. There was nothing worth more than one own eternal soul. Rejecting Christ might mean temporary earthly gains but it comes at the worst possible price the jewish people had been waiting for a promised one for many centuries most expected that this messiah would be a military leader or a king like a david or solomon Jesus' disciples recognized that he was the one whom the prophet had predicted. However, Jesus did not speak about conquering with an army or by taking over the government. Instead, 
Jesus thought that the Messiah would suffer and die at the hands of men. Just before he asked, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Jesus says that in order to, to truly follow Christ, people must be willing to deny themselves to, and take up the, their cross and follow, follow Him according to Matthew 6.24. To take up one's cross is a reference to being condemned to die. The statement is symbolic of a total final commitment. In other words, one need to be willing to give up everything in order to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Worldly suffering wouldn't be deterrent. This is the context of Jesus' question. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet for feed their soul? If a person rejects Jesus and becomes the richest, most powerful person on earth, he has still made a full decision. Sooner or later, earthly things will fade away, and that person will have lost the only part of himself and lasts forever. The day of reckoning is coming, for the Son of Man is going to come to his Father, glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they have done. It is recorded in Matthew 16:27. There is nothing more valuable than a person's soul. Again, there is nothing more valuable than a person's soul. To trade that away is epitome of foolishness. When a person chooses to embrace this world instead of heaven, he is forfeiting his soul. If a person rejects Christ for a sake of anything in this life, he will lose his soul. Esau despised his bright right and he chose his two instead. Judas sold the Savior for a few pieces of silver. Demas loved this present world and forsook the ministry. All three men thought they were gaining something, but actually lost everything. Actually lost everything. When you exchange the valuable thing in our lives to the, this, to, to the things in the world, then you lose. Valuable, th valuable means Christ, the Lord Jesus. Choose the Lord Jesus over anything in this world because eventually this world will fade away. This world is temporary, but Jesus is eternal. Choose Jesus. Come to Jesus. Pray to Jesus. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. 
as Lord and Savior. He is the only way going to heaven. Nothing else. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this a wonderful comfort, a wonderful words that you given to us today. We thank you, Lord, for this uh, enlightenment that anything in this world, nothing compares to you, Lord God. Nothing compares. That you are a valuable at all in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your salvation that you store in us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, the availability of our salvation through you, Lord, through you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For you deserve the glory, you deserve the honor, you deserve the highest praise, you deserve the worship. In your name, O oh Lord Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. The name of powerful name, the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you everyone and uh, mega love shout out sa inyong lahat. Uh, Makita-kita po tayo muli sa susunod nating uh, Bible study, a uh, daily Bible study. Dito lang po kay Yolo Yun, ang lingkod at kapatid nyo sa pananampalataya sa Panginoong Sokristo. Amen. Ayun. Thank you and God bless you all.